Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put your screen recording inside an iPhone. So you can see on your screen right now, this video is playing. I have some text at the side and I also have my screen recording that looks like it's inside an iPhone right now. So that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, but I'm going to have to split this in two sections. So first one is going to be only using free apps and then one using a paid app. So this is all the free apps we're going to be using, Fonto, Over, and iMovie. And for paid apps, I'm going to be using LumaFusion, but you can really use any one. Um, you can have like CuteCut Pro, KindMaster, VideoLeap, and um, overall, you can also use any free apps. Just use the same method that I'm using in this video. Um, you'll see what I mean, but I'm pretty sure if you have other apps that work similarly, you can still achieve the same results just using the method so let's actually get into the tutorial so first tutorial i'm going to be doing is the free one here so i'm just going to go into this folder so the first thing you need to do is create the background and text for your screen recording so as you can see like i already mentioned i have my iphone png with the screen recording running but i also have text on my screen just because i don't like just having plain screen recording running i like to have something else on the screen as you can see but um how i do this is i'm gonna go into over here and create my background you can also use fonto i have a whole video on fonto if you want to check that out. i'll have that in the eye up top for you guys but i'm just going to quickly use over just because i like the way over handles certain areas and then we're going to go over to fonto you'll see what i mean so i'm just going to go into over and then we're going to click on this plus button down here and I'm just going to choose an image here and I'm going to be using this image as my background image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down here until you see the YouTube thumbnail size. It's just the best size to use in your video and I'm going to click on this correction mark here. Now the reason I'm using over for this part of the video and not Fonto because you can do this in Fonto as well. But what I like about over is I can easily crop my photo to the right size. And also what I like to do for my background sometimes is I'm going to go here, tap on the image, click on edit. You can also add filters. They do have some cool filters here if you want to use some of them. But I'm going to go here to blur. And then we're just going to blur it a bit just so it just doesn't pull too much focus away from the screen recording. So I'm going to do that. Click on the correction mark in the top right corner. And then I'm just going to export this photo to my photo library. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into Fonto. I'm just going to click on this camera icon here and select photo albums and then import that photo. But real quick, if you want to just make a plain background in Fonto and you don't, you're not really worried about creating that over, you can just go here, click on plain image, choose any one of these, click on here, go to custom, and change the width to 1280 and the height by to 720, done. And then you can go down here to color, to color it. And you can also create gradings by tapping like so here and then tapping on another color and that creates a gradient. And you can also choose which type of gradient you want by tapping here on vertical and choosing which one you want. This is very quick, but like I said, I do have a whole video dedicated on over. So this is just quickly showing you guys, but that's how you can create a plain background if you're interested in only using that for your videos. But okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna import that image real quick by clicking on photo albums and importing it. Now, the reason I'm choosing Fonto now is because I love the way you can edit text in Fonto and you can also import your custom fonts into Fonto. So I'm just gonna click on add text and then I'm gonna just type in iPhone tutorial very plain and simple. I'm gonna put the alignment to center and just resize it a bit. So I'm gonna want my screen recording running here and I'm gonna want text on this side. So I'm just gonna quickly tilt it a bit and make it stand out a bit more by going to style here. Here you can adjust your colors and everything. I'm gonna add a black stroke around it and I'm also gonna add a drop shadow by clicking here on style and then tapping on the black and then just adjust adjusting the opacity and clicking on done. Okay, so here I have my very plain background. Uh, as I like to do more elaborate things usually, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna be doing this for this video. Okay, and now we're gonna save it by clicking here and clicking on save. So now for the actual screen recording 
part and putting it all together. We're going to go into over again. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to choose image here. Choose that image that we just created. But now I want to change the size here. I'm going to change the width to 1920 and the height I'm going to keep at 1080 and select the correction mark. This is just to make it a better quality photo for our screen recording. Now I'm going to go to video here and import the screen recording that I want to have on my video. So just tip on video. This is the video that I want. I'm just going to select the full length. Sadly, over only allows for five minutes of screen recording in, at a time. So you're going to do this. Um, we're going to import it. And then we're going to do the last bit at the end. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. Click on correction mark. Okay, so now I have my screen recording here and it's running already, as you can see. And now we're going to import an iPhone PNG. So I'm going to go to image here and I'm importing this iPhone PNG that I have. You can search any one. Um, there are so many that you can download from the internet. So just go to your web browser and search iPhone, whatever model you have. I'm just going to go 12 PNG and just find one that looks right to you. And if you're struggling with one that doesn't have a transparent background, you can just use an app like Eraser. You can find it on the app store to erase the background for the image. But okay, I'm just going to make sure I'm happy with this. You can also, well, something that's very helpful, go here to size to be more precise with your sizing. And you can also go here to nudge, which is this option here, to easily go left and right in small spaces because it's hard to do it with your fingers. And once I have my desired look, I'm going to click on the correction mark here. And then you're going to export this to your photo library. This might take a while to export though. Now, if your screen recording is longer than five minutes, I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can work around that. So click on video here again, and it's going to Take, tell you it's only supporting one video at a time. So you're gonna click on replace video, choose your screen recording that you imported again. This video is about six minutes, six and a half minutes. So I'm just gonna go here and make it like one and a half, two minutes, just to make sure I get everything. We can split it later in another app I'm gonna show you guys. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then click on the correction mark here. And as you can see, it kept the sizing, it kept everything. It just now has the last bit of the five minutes or whatever how long it is and then you're just going to go ahead and export that again to your camera roll so you don't have to move it again or ma make sure like everything is perfect again you just have to replace it it does everything else for you so it's really easy it's not really that hard at all so i'm just going to save this video as well and the reason we previously made our canvas size 1920 by 10 any is because our background um, image that we made in over and in fonto is only 720p and this is 1080p so it's just better quality just to make sure you don't lose any quality for your screen recording because that's also something i was really trying to get is not to let you guys lose any quality um but yeah luckily i found this workaround i know this is very tedious but this is the biggest problem with free apps is the amount of layers you can add over your videos so for instance you have your bottom layer which is your background image then you have your screen recording and then you have your iphone png and most free apps only allows one extra layer and not two like the screen iphone png or whatnot um, it's hard to explain, but I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. But now for the last and final thing, you're just going to go into iMovie, create a new project here, click on movie, import everything that you just made in over, click on create movie down there. And now we're basically done. So this is what it looks like. You just might want to cut um, where it may have an overlap but um then you just go ahead and cut your video and do your splits and add text and whatnot i have a whole folder on imovie tutorials if you want to check that out i'll have that in the iapp top for you guys um so if you're interested in more things like how to add text over your videos in imovie how to add moving text in imovie things like that i'll have that in the iapp top for you guys to go check out as well but that is how you can do it the free way. I know it's a lot of going back and forth between apps and the same kind of apps, but this is the best way I could find that you can get them as much as you possibly can out of this method. Um, but now let's quickly do the paid version tutorial. So this is really easy. Like I said, you have so many other apps you can choose from. I'm just going to be using LumaFusion since that's my favorite. 
editing app on iPhone that's paid. So you're just going to go into your app and then you're going to import your background image and your screen recording and your iPhone PNG. I'm just going to show you guys the order. So this is my background image, going to import that. Just going to make it longer since my screen recording is about six minutes. So I'm just going to make this six minutes. Then we're going to import our screen recording. We're going to make it right now. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to double tap on the clip. Do whatever your video editor allows you to do. And I'm just going to resize it because it is too big for the frame. Just going to go and put it here at this side. And then I'm going to import my iPhone PNG. It's really hard to do this vertically. Usually I just put my phone horizontal to edit on Luma Fusion, but this is just for the sake of this tutorial. Again, I'm going to resize it. Okay, so now I fit everything so that it works the right way. And then you can just go ahead like usually and split your video and delete clips if you have to, things like that. So it's really easy. That's the whole thing. You just layer it on top of each other. <laughs> really easy for a paid app um, or just an, any app that supports multiple layers on top of each other. A quick tip, if you use LumaFusion and you're having a problem like I usually have where you can see there's a little piece here of the screen recording sticking out. What I usually do is I go to my screen recording clip. Now this is only if your video editor supports this, which LumaFusion does. Go into the clip editor and when you go to cropping here, go to corner radius. So it just, how do I show you guys this? Uh, if I go here, you can see it rounds the edges, but I just do it until it meets the iPhone PNG. So as you can see, just meets it there. When I go out now, you'll see it no longer has a little piece sticking out because I cropped the edges that it's more rounded like the iPhone PNG. So that's just a quick tip if you're using LumaFusion as well. Okay, so that is the whole tutorial on how to put your screen recording inside an iPhone. Again, Sorry for people who have to use the free version. It's very ratchet and going back and forth between a lot of apps, but it really is the best way to do this. Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me um, regarding this. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie tutorial related videos and click on the videos from my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!